Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Emmanuel, and we've been working on an amazing project, like I always say, um, Yummy. So if you aren't a part of it, uh, maybe consider joining us in this amazing journey, right? So in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be connecting the um, homepage category so that when you click on that, and it takes you to the second page, it's gonna show a list of dishes that belong to the categories fetched from the back end. All right, and is the process is actually very similar to what we've done in the last two videos. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our network service, right? So we're gonna go to the network service and we're gonna create a new function right here. And this is going to be called fetch um, category dishes, all right? And this is going to expect the category ID as a string. And then it's gonna have a completion that is going to give us a result that is either an array of dish or an error. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna to need to do is to implement our request function. So the request function, we're, gonna, we're not gonna need parameters. So I'm gonna use this one. So we currently don't have access to, oops, this should be here, good. So we currently don't have the route. So we're gonna go over to our route. And actually, if you don't know how I brought that up, it's command shift and O, then you type in the class name. So um, here we're gonna create a new one. This is going to be fetch category dishes. And this is gonna expect, or is gonna require a category ID. So it's gonna be of type string. So right here, we're gonna create a new case for that. So fetch, cat, fetch not all, fetch category dishes. And this is going to be cat ID, or category ID if you prefer. And here, we're gonna return a string that has, that is slash um, dishes, slash like this, category ID. Oh yeah, I missed this. All right, so um, actually let me move this to the next line so that it's not too jam-packed. Good. Okay, so now we have our endpoint created. So we can go back to our network service. Actually, just close this. And here, we're gonna be using the route fetch category dishes, and it expects category ID. So here, I'm just gonna pass in category ID. And the method is gonna be a get, then the completion is gonna be completion. Sweet. So that's that. The next thing we wanna do is go over to um, list dish, this dishes view controller, and at the view did load, let's go ahead and remove this because we don't want the mock data anymore. And here in our view did load, we want to first of all show a loader. So import progress hard and progress hard dot show. So we're just going to show a loader. So um, after that, we want to use our network service dot shared dot fetch category dishes. This is going to take the category ID, which we which we can of course get from category dot ID, like that. And that's this guy over here. Then the completion, we just do this and say result. Now we're gonna need to update our table view. So I know I'm gonna reference self. So I just write weak self like that. And then here we need to switch results, I hope I'm not moving too fast. And then we're gonna need to implement two, okay, so this is optional, category ID is optional, so I'm just gonna default to an empty string, okay? Or you can use a guard to unwrap or if let. So here, we're gonna need to implement the success and the failure. Now the success is going to return a list of dishes, so it's an array of dishes. So just write dishes like this. Error is going to be an error. Over here, we can go ahead and say progress hard dot show error. And this is going to be error dot localized description. 
then for this one we want to first of all stop the loader so progress hard dot dismiss and then we want to update our data source which is self dot dishes equals dishes and self dot table view dot reload data so now we update our data source and then we up we reload our table view to use the new data that we've passed it so this should actually work so let's go ahead and run this and what we expect is that when you click on a particular category it shows the loader when it shows the loader then it it displays images of dishes that belong to that category Ooh, taking time man All right, so uh, let's start with Nigerian dishes. And if you saw that, it was very fast, but you saw the loader. And you can see that now it has dishes that are actually Nigerian, jollof rice, cassava flakes, tool, and corby, and all of these things. So let's go back and actually try um, seafoods. Click on that, you saw the loader. You can see that now we have uh, sashimi, I hope I pronounced that correctly, tendon, well, crab cake. So anyhow, uh, you can see that all of these things are very accurate. And now if I click on fish and chips, it opens up the full information and we see the calories, the full data. And I can go ahead and place an order under the name David. Now click on place order, place an order. It has been placed. And in the next video, what we're going to be doing is when you click on orders, we want to see a list of all the orders that have been placed in the app. All right. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please just go ahead, hit the like button, and you can also share with your friends as well. I believe this is a pretty neat um, application. Until then, you guys have a nice week.